Hello my succulent friends, it's me Suze, I'm back. It's morning and i um, standing in front of my shade house. You see I have um, shade cloth tacked up there and I roll it up and down depending on the season and the weather. But right now they do seem to be enjoying uh, some morning sunlight. I have to stand at this angle so I don't cast a shadow in front of what I'm filming. So I wanted to thank everybody who sent me um, kind get well messages uh, in the comments yesterday. That was really, really lovely. And um, believe it or not, it really helped. Um, have a look at that pot of violet greens. I've showed you this before, but the colors are really starting to pop now because we've had some cooler temperatures. And I'm really determined to push this pot as far as I can. So there's three separate heads in there. I've talked about this before, but I want to see how much, how big I can get it in this pot. I'm sort of envisioning it looking like a, a, an ice cream cone, a big full uh, top of Violet Queens. And uh, given how many offsets are happening, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be too far away. Um, just quickly, this has caught my eye too. Look how big this crest is here now on the uh, a grim one. Lovely. And uh, let's go have a look at the other side. My poor Aeonian here. I've got a few of them, sunbursts. It's got some sun damage. Anyway, never mind. So what else can I show you? Oh yeah, let's come around the other side. Is that my shadow everywhere I go? He's a good boy, aren't you? Oh, my baby, gorgeous, I love that face. So this was um, an arrangement I did on a video with some purchases from eBay, eBay auctions, that's right. And um, this has really settled in nicely. This one on the side was a Kante hybrid. It was called Sandy's Delight. And um, it's looking really pretty. The sedum, sedum wildfire. Um, and then that one back there, Paloma. So uh, I'm really pleased with how well that settled in. The lower leaves were a little dehydrated and um, they've since fallen off, but the main part of it's really firmed up. It's quite plump. This was a Paloma, I think. I like how it's just sort of pointing out in that direction. That's fun. This is a Pachaveria Elaine. This one looks so lovely in the morning light. Let's see if I can catch the angle. There we go. Isn't that gorge? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. I identified it with its flowers uh, last year. But it's another one I got from my supplier friend. Um, he had some cute pastel chubbies and I, he was kind enough to give me a few at a good price. But again, he doesn't uh, label his stuff. It's a little bit frustrating, but never mind. What else? Oh, yeah. So the afterglow, this was another pot I did some maintenance work on. That main head right here had a very uh, nice flower growing out of it and I have since removed it. I let it grow to the point where the flower started to bloom and then I removed it um, mainly because I'm using a systemic in this part. Not that there's a lot of um, bees around but there are some honey eating birds that come to my yard. Uh, so that was the first and main reason. And second of all, I wanted to cut it because, as we know, when they're flowering, they're actively growing. And rather than putting its energy into growing its flower bloom, I wanted to redirect into its size. But I have to try and capture this well without creating a shadow. So let me zoom in. But can you see in there? there and back there um, it looks like we've got some new growth so who knows what that's going to be hopefully pups uh, 
might be another flower bloom. And, oh God, let me try and capture it from the right angle. The flower bloom that I cut off still wants to bloom. So it's trying to pop out another flower. Um, or two of them, actually. When it gets a little bit bigger, I'll just pinch them out. And so I just cut that off. Uh, literally, so I can't grow that and see if it pushes out something else. Oh, hang on a minute. There is a, a dry leaf stuck in there, but there's something else growing there too. So let's keep an eye on that. Well, hopefully they're pups. Also, have a look how well this is doing. Another one from another video. This was a sedum uh, variegated matcha latte some other name in there too so I'll insert it there's my um, raspberry ice elegant elegance raspberry ice so apparently it has the elegance has a couple of different forms um, which I've, I've since come to understand and so there's the standard elegances and then there's um, the raspberry ice there's one more I can't recall off the top of my head I think it had something to do with blue but uh, no, no signs of raspberry yet. <laughs> but um, I think it will happen in winter. But really what I wanted to show you is these gorgeous colours and how lush it is. Look, look at that, that one right in the middle there. Just that lemony uh, colour. And um, I've got to do it. I've got to pat it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, wow. Feels awesome. And uh, what else is worth uh, showing here? Oh, I love the miniatures now. I'm all about the miniatures. And that, um, I believe it was Crassula Elegance in there is um, looking really cute. Very, very sweet. Oh, this one here, this is a, a white champagne, probably could do with a bigger pot, but eh, I don't care, I like it like this, unless it struggles in here, as it grows I'll change it, oh god, oh god, don't drop, <laughs> sorry I need to use my other hand to support it, this is the most expensive succulent I own. <laughs> and it cost me $35 so um, you know it's not one of those really expensive ones like you know how some some succulents we all roll our eyes insert eye roll right here uh, to those people who pay hundreds of dollars for particular succulents I won't do that I just won't I just can't risk it so this to me was um, let me just step up because my legs are hurting this was, um, yeah, it, it took it, it took me some courage to go and buy it because I felt like thirty-five dollars was a bit of an indulgence, but it's been well worth it. Look at the colours; they're coming along. Though it is a white champagne, there are um, various colours. I think it's red and uh, I don't know purple maybe and that the prices of those just get ridiculously high but um I don't know maybe you, you maybe you've spent a lot of money on a succulent tell me what's the highest amount you've paid for a succulent maybe one day I might buy something more expensive I don't know obviously a lot of people buy the variegated um and stuff like variegated supremes uh, first thing that comes to mind. Oh, gently, gently, gently. Um, you know, I had a conversation. I talked about it before where a friend and I were discussing was it worth spending $50 on one. Um, probably, but I haven't done it. Anyway, yesterday I was... Uh, I was out in the front garden I took a lot of cuttings and so I wanted to just um, have a look at them and I thought you might want to hang out with me while I do it. So let's head over to my workstation. 
So this is my view from my workstation. That's the edge of my table. Hubby just mowed the lawn, so it was well overdue. But um, anyway, I have a couple of trays in front of me uh, of cuttings when I was out in the front garden. I'm doing my very best to just tackle a little bit at a time because I've let it go so bad, it's, it's really overwhelming me. Um, I really like the idea of landscaping, um, but I find I can't manage it all, so I don't know. Anyway, that's one tray. Well, I'm trying to show you another tray. Let me just move it over the top. So I've got all this to sort out. And one more tray here to sort out. Um, I feel like you guys are probably getting really curious because I mention it uh, quite a bit, I guess, about my front garden. And uh, if you didn't see a video where I've talked about this before, I'm kind of, um, you know, a little embarrassed to get out there with the camera and film myself in front of the neighbours. The neighbours know I'm a succulent. Um, I love it, but you know, it's just a level I'm not sure I'm comfortable on. I, actually, I am sure I'm not comfortable. It's, um, maybe I'll push out of that, uh, push out of my comfort zone one day and just do it. But anyway, I might insert some, um, photographs just to give you an idea of what I've done. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm sorry. I am sick, so I'm, you know, I'm not thinking completely straight. So some of these I took out because they're right on the edge of the garden bed and they're right next to the lawn. That's one of the biggest problems. The lawn and grass is, is starting to uh, infiltrate into the succulent bed and it's just getting a little bit too hard for me to keep pulling out grass all the time. The morning light's really coming in. It's a little glary, but it's good in some ways. So these are, um, pretty sure these are Pat's Pinks. I think they're sedums. Some people call them set of areas. Um, anyway, oh yeah, so along the edge of the bed, these were hanging over into the grass area. And I know when my husband's out there with the whippersnapper, he's a little careless. And sometimes he's whipper snipped some of the heads and I figured I'll take a preemptive strike and cut them off before he um, mutilates them with the um, hedge trim, the, you know, the little spinny thing, you know, with the, <laughs> I can't even, I can't, I can't think. <sighs> this is going to be a really good or really bad or very amusing video given the state of my mind at the moment. Francesca Baldi. What am I going to do with this? I'm not sure. I do enjoy um, treating my front yard as like a bit of a farm though. There's quite a few of them. There was a nice patch of them. I might sell a few but because um, I only have a little bit of this stuff out here in my potted stuff, I thought I might actually create a big full pot of them. You know, like a backup like another source to, another place to grow and another source to take cuttings oh, that don't look too good. <sighs> I really don't have a plan here, I just thought, I know we all enjoy looking at cuttings, don't we? Even the uh, bad cuttings. Maybe I'll try and sort them out. I think this is just a regular seed and those yellow ones, Delphide or whatever they're called. This is clearly, uh, I think this might be a Vera Higgins or a Bronze Delight or whatever they're called. So that's Pat's Pink, which are looking very peachy. Pretty sure there's quite a few of those. Okay, maybe I'll just use this other tray I've got and I'll put the. Uh, Francisco's. Is there any more Francisco's? It's 
hard to capture everything I'm doing. I can only capture this part with my camera. Another pats. Another pats. There's quite a few of them in here. Yeah, I think I should get another pot going with these. So I'm going to take um, Evelyn's advice and I'm going to try and suffocate. Oh, there's a little baby in there. That belongs to some sort of grab. I noticed it was growing amongst the rocks and I thought I'd just grab them out and nurture them a bit. Um, yeah, so this grass problem out there. So Evelyn, she's always such a smart cookie. She uh, suggested to cover it with a plastic bag or cardboard or mulch to kill out the um, grass. So I think I'll just put um, some plastic bags over the top. I don't think I've got black plastic bags. I'll have to buy some. So I can buy something else. And I'll just put it, lay it over where the grass is growing in and suffocate it out but there's a section where the grass I better insert a photo of something maybe I'll do it right about now Um, yeah, so there's a section where the grass is really uh, in there bad and there's, I can't get it out without either cutting out the succulents permanently, I can't get it out without redoing the whole section, which is probably what I'll end up doing, knowing me. Um, it's been hard to talk about that while I'm not really in front of it, so I'm going to just um, move on from that subject. I'll just focus on these. Okay, all right, then we've got these um, other sedums. Pachyphytum, Pachyphylum, or something. Jelly beans, basically. I think some people call them blue jelly beans. And they've got so much of that going all over the place. I love it though, it's a fun one. Huh. I need another tray. Let's reach over for this tray and put all of those in there. So yeah, if you have um, somewhere where you can grow in the ground, or maybe you already do, uh, but if you don't, and you can, I would suggest do it. Just do it better than I do. Um, but it's a great way to sort of, um, they grow fast basically in the ground and um, you can get big yields like this. Once, once your plant's established and you do a lot of cuttings, you just keep promoting more growth and when it happens, you, just, you know, there's lots of stuff going on. I think that's what I said I wouldn't talk about it. I guess I am again. <laughs> It gives us sort of like a, uh, okay, so the first stage is you plan all your new little babies. They're young, they're immature, you got, you're looking at them wish, wistfully thinking, oh, I can't wait till they grow big. And before you know it, they do grow and they grow fast. And then you're like, oh, wrapped. And then it all knits together all nice. And then you're peaking because that's when it's great. But 
Now the challenge is to maintain it, you know, uh, and that's where, that's, that's the stage I'm at and I'm finding it a bit challenging. Right. Okay, so I want to talk about it. Uh, Tricolour, nice big one. I've got quite a few patches of that going out um, outside as well. <sighs> this was a big giant flower for Francisco. Oh, this is a bit of a connect the dot thing. So this is a flower bloom, right? These leaves are great for propagating. And they're plump, they're a good size. Um, and as we've discussed, flower blooms have more vuspa. I don't know. I don't know the, the horticultural stuff, but it, it's probably programmed with something in there. You know, it knows it, it wants to make a baby. It's more... Um, it's got a bit more oomph, these leaves, than the regular leaves. Boy, that sound, I'm sure that's going to sound really stupid when I listen back. But hey, oh well. Um, so, the pot yesterday's video, the little terracotta pot with the babies, I'm pretty sure the leaf babies came off something like this. I don't think I mentioned it yesterday. All right, I might just move that over there because I've got more of that. Maybe if I zoom in a bit. Oh, it's very glary. So these are leaves. They were under the section where I have my tricolour. But I also have... There's a purple haze. I'm not sure what kind of grab. Graptopithum or Graptivaria. I think it's a Graptivaria. Them maybe, but all I remember is this purple haze, and they're in a similar area. And I found this under these under the clumps, and I knocked off a few. So these fresh ones that's rubbish, the tip's no good. These fresh ones are definitely the tricolor because I remember popping them off accidentally. And then these ones boy, it's really glary, isn't it? I might take a break after this and wait for the sun to pass charge my phone up a bit before I move on to the other trays. For you it will be seamless but the lighting will change. Um, so they were under that clump and they sort of have some purpley pinky hues to it but I think that's because it might be stressed. This is definitely a tricolour. Oh god I just can't get the light right. Yeah I'll take a break after this. So anyway I'll put that with the tricolour and these I'll put in a tray somewhere. And oh, I found that in the garden. I thought I might recycle it in a pot. This is uh, a passion fruit from the passion fruit vine that fell and obviously is drying the more leaves of the tricolour. Is this little? It's probably the same. That might be a pet's pink. That's the same. These leaves are definitely Francisco. That's uh, Pats. That's rubbish. Rubbish. A few rocks. Ah, rubbish. All right. I'll be back when it's less glary. I've got something else in there that's quite interesting. I want to show you. I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also you can find me as S's with Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page where I post daily photos with tips and information so come and hang out with me there it's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.